Money finally, I found Bola Bimbola. I put him out of hiding. Oh, she mean while I can't kinto kinto ri ah mojuko lo wo egbon femi oje tunde awon ni won wa yin jade she she eh hide for one night journey yeah mi o kuku hide eh ni o pe awon awon agba ma so pe ti omo de ba to ni oko eyan ma fun loko to ba to like um at some alada eh at some point no Young Bodo to Fay left on a motombo lay. And so, um, and so far, I'm really happy for Lung got him on board towing on Shimbe. So, yeah. But, so, yeah. um, tell me about Emily Fair, so we play uh, Edition music in Nigeria. Yeah. But uh, in a way, uh, arts here. Yeah. The art of production, music generally, and when I want to run, go rewarding. Be sports, no only. Okay, see, I recently. Peleku, I will be watching on worship. Ben, O Kuton, Bobo, you don't see your queen. One more queen for concern. But in Nigeria, and be a photo in your cotton day, one piece for Gene or something around players in Nigeria. Baba, I am feeding war on stroke. More than people with treatment in Pele, you wear country low, low way, but could be any country. More of a low fat or polo poor, and you told Jack where what talented attachment to down away. Then, oh, but I can't even budget. Oh, but not if you lose it. She more correct. Then, uh, oh, 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 Tony, because uh, me, me, but he tower bearer music. And so, um, being a family uh, person, um, you were left to wonder how you would take care of your family, how you would uh, even have uh, greater opportunities to exist okay. in your, okay. uh, you know, um, career. So, I time and I want to tell my own here. And Toba uh, Nigeria being what it was and still what it is right now. Yeah. Mm. Um, if you best see hope, Lotiti, in comma, Shoma improve. Improve. And so it, it was a tough dis decision, but had to be made, uh, in my own case, um, to go further and, and see what else is out there. Yeah, with well, the Koro Nigeria. 1998, shortly be before the release of my uh, of Buyanga. African Buyanga, eh? Only joking, Jackie, somewhere. Only joking, Jackie, somewhere. All right. Um, online. Account consoy pay won't be in 1966. Another account reports your age as 1968. It will look correct. Be honest with you. I just actually saw that this morning. <laughs> oh, la, you know Sherry Larry. Larry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. But 66 was the year I was Okay. All right. Uh, Mufe meet Bola Bimbola. We all just know you as Bola Bimbola. Um, ah, more middle name. Maybe I enjoy Samuel. We are in Jay Kabiru. I shall work with Bola Bimbola. Multi. Kinifu name, see? <laughs> Bola, Bishola, Abimbola. Okay. Mr. Malti. Mr. Malti. Now, this voice in here, was a tiny, to show a romantic. I won't be any, but I'll let you cook a little one. Me, it's better chance me, I'll cook a little one. But I'll let you cook a little one, bye. Well, um, you know, at the time, it, it it wasn't or 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 but uh um tell you bashi tell you bashi young repercussion i want to benny uh, exuberance my wife, youthful exuberance ben, you, so yeah, explore exactly and then mm -hmm. 
be, you know, you wanted to be nice to everybody. You wanted to accommodate everybody. You mm. know? So um, all I can say in regard to stuff like that, I just thank God for his grace. That's all. To uh, 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 a lot of, uh, you know, shortcomings as, as well. But, you know, learn from them and uh, try to be better. All right. Um, I think in while we're on the business, we're mm. uh, The purpose of this chat is to know you up close and personal. And um, a lot of Nigerians have enjoyed your... Once you enjoy your following mm. musically, you know, the works you have done for other artists and the works that you have released, even yourself. We want to talk about those works and uh, some other things around you. Um, I'm originally from Ijebujesha. Oh, Ijebujesha. Yes. Yes. Oshoma <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, 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 no, I'm originally from um, Jabutesha. All right. She 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 did very she man loving but I get that one. Did my uh, secondary school in the Jabutesha. I G I I J J S have you? Yes, okay. yes. I was where I went to uh, to secondary. So yeah, I, a couple of years, which enabled me to be able to speak the the dialect. The dialect. Yeah, um, um, Mama, you know, grandmother, me told me, oh, Mama, you will see that. Okay. Le, for a mole dearly. Okay. Thank her for that. So, yeah. So, me, Jebu Jesha, eh? Eh, Timani can guess each day, wa, me, Jebu Jesha, maybe around your teenage. Yes. Around maybe, you know, 13, 14. Yeah, it would be more like. Uh, around 14, uh, oh, let's say about 15, actually. 15. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, were there any pranks that play Tony Shekwelu music at that time? Pranks as in artists were a snake out. Lots of artists here. Were there such things? Yeah. Um, actually, um, at the time, for some reason, I uh, could see... As far as I can remember, Ubu Live me, Timmy Obafi, Timbada what? Timbada Joko, Ubu Okolomi, Orini. Even as at that time, Abi. Uh, even as at that time, more not the time to go by into school. Uh, uh -huh. Try to put together a band, you know, school here, yeah, you know. The secondary school here. Yeah. Secondary school here, yeah, um, you know. Uh, after my, we just get together after school. I'm a joke, see, I'm a happy joke, see, what you feel, how do you feel? I'm a mama, I'm a tonga, I'm a mo, I go, I go milk, I go milk in the microphone, bye. So, I can give Emma key, give a lane. Exactly. So, Emma, my mimic, so they are there. Exactly, Marco Sony, Marco Barista, Marco Yusuf, Ola Tuji. Which was where my uh, my uh, uh, versatility came from, actually. Okay. Me making Marco Michael Jackson, Marco Ogwe, So, uh, but yeah, that was a fun time. That was yeah. fun time. That was fun time. I, I, at that time, she because mm -hmm. Mama Kweje Bujesha, even up till now. It's a Jabujesha is a sleepy town. I go make me the one to soon. See, but she can't want a little washer, you know, Niger Bujesha. You know, if you bubble there, more apologize for more to show and Jabujesha, but it's just a reality. That's the reality. You're right. Mm. You're right. You're right. But uh, what, uh, from what I heard, uh, Jabujesha, not see what he be for care, dear. 
Die o ton. Die. Ti ta wa wa nbe lo. So ti e ben um um I've learned that a lot of uh, few 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 things are happening there right okay. now. Uh, you know, um a lot of renovation going into uh, you know the building, Jebjeja Grammar School itself. Yeah. Which mm. I I'm kind of humble to be a part of. Um, you know, so we have an association uh, to put together um, okay. oversee the uh, renovation of uh, of that project and stuff like that. So some things have definitely definitely uh, changed. Right okay. Now. All right. Uh, before we move on, I would like to officially say that um, next time when anybody is talking about artists from Ijebudesha, when you mention Ike Dairo, when you mention Orlando Julius Akemode, when you mention Chris Ajilo, then you must mention Bola. I've been bola officially. <laughs> All right. So, um, at what point le kuru njia budesha ibolelo? So, moko ni njia budesha ni 1980. Okay. 1980 moko ni njia budesha. Then, mowasi um, ko. So. Igbatimo wasi eko um ni mo mo bere at the my music you know industry um, okay artist um had no idea about uh, how that was gonna go or how where where to Be, before keto wasi eko uh, was studio re you've never been in any studio and oh. you you never followed a hey, apprentice at the internship under any artist. Nothing, nothing like that. Nothing like that. It was just people here and there telling me that, uh, look, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be singing. You're supposed to be doing music. You're supposed to be in the studio. And get my man so money away, yo. Long, long, long. Somehow, some way, uh, our our voices on go here and there. Uh, we're very encouraging and. So you know, okay, okay, let me let me see. And uh, I had a brother, uh, um, uh, uh, brother Yemi, uh, so I reached okay. out, to him and um, I, I think it's fair to say that if not for him, I probably won't be the bola bimbola everybody knows today. So, what was his influence at that time? Influence at the time mm. was to push me and assist me uh, to any level, even though he had nothing to offer. All he knew was to get me to the first, uh, the very first studio that I laid my eyes on, which was Tabansi Records at the time. Okay. Uh, Tabansi Records, uh, Iboni Babae. Yeah, yeah, Iboni Babae. Uh, Unloda Biolumo Records, Swambi. Yeah, exactly. So... Mm -hmm. So, you know, Mr. Um, Yemi Lo, Lo, Dimi Lo, Muloni, Jekalo. And uh, we got there. Um, and then uh, I, you know, from the, from, from talking to the gate man there, um, it didn't even look like I was, I was going to have any uh, opportunity to even uh, go in, let alone talking to anybody else in this. Mm. But as God will have it, somehow, some way, um, just okay. my vocal, just my vocal, and um, after about a few seconds, I'm gonna get my answer. So called talk way, um, you be a co say learning, come on, but somehow, some way, he called me back and said, Um, you have uh, money to buy me beer. <laughs> 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 and then I looked at I looked at Boraya, I, I looked at Miss Ayemi, I said, uh Miss Ayemi said, Oh yeah. Miss Ayemi gave him money. Actually it 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 went outside again to go buy beer and he brought the beer. That was to get beer and all of way, huh? <laughs> yeah, beer and open gate me. Mm. So he allowed me in and the first person that I saw, um one of their uh, in-house producers. Um, his name is Orion. Orion. That 
and um, listen to my tape. And once he listened to the tape, um, that started conversation between me and him. And okay. he just wanted to be a part of what I was trying to do. And he put me in the studio for free because I, oh. I, I didn't have any money to do the, the demo. Oh. So um, he offered to help with one song. With okay. And then they put me in the studio and um, that very day, I did my first demo there at Tabansi. And um, I left and he said he would, he would get back to me. Um, and I kept checking and kept checking. And uh, in the course of checking with Tabansi, I heard about EMI. Okay. And so I switched gear, gear at that point. So, Mulosi, Mulosi EMI. EMI. That was 1980, yeah. right? Yeah, Nikeja. Now, the demo, demo to she, ni Tabansi. Yeah. She, Juju Lekombe, ni abi pop, you know, Tawon, Chris, or Kote. Demo to Moshe Mbe, uh, it was it, it. I think it was more like African pop. Okay. African pop, BT, BT, and Yeah, African pop, something like that. But with okay. you know, okay. So yeah, man, but uh, yeah. back, uh, you know, African pop kind of uh, uh, music. So, Molosi EMI, that's Mode EMI. I spoke to the gateman there as well. Um, fortunately, it was one of those days that they allowed, that they were allow um, new artists to come in and okay. show, show up what they had. What they had. Okay. Um, I was able to get in and and I spoke with uh, Odion Iroje. Okay, that's the, the resident producer then. Yes, yes. And uh, when Odion listened to my work, he just fell in love. Fell in love. Oh. About, uh, I think about six months six months later was when I got signed. Okay. EMI Records. So you got yeah. signed in 1980 or 1981? Ni 1981. 1981. Now, yeah. remember, the uh, uh, year at the meet, Roger was 1980. She, Kinele Geji, Roger, At that time, I believe Odon Roger was... I think he was in his uh, late forties. Oh, okay. Late forties. Okay. Uh, you know, yeah, aging towards fifty at the time. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I got signed on, and uh, we started working on my first uh, project uh, uh, called Silifa Bamijo. So. Um, okay. Now, if you were born in 1966 and you got signed in 1981, mm. you are not even 20. No, I wasn't. I, you know, I started around 19. Let the artists below yeah. yeah, an yeah. international record label. Yeah, at the time, yes, I was. This, this same, this same, uh, Odion Iroje. No, lo, she chef found uh, the boy group, uh, Kiloroko and uh, Chris Okotie. Okay, no, lo, she Chris Okotie. Okay. Yeah, on lo, she Chris Okotie. Um, and other artists um, was working with uh, uh, DZK, uh, even though uh, it was um, Tony Okoroji that, that worked on DZK's album. But Okay, okay. So Tony yeah. Okoro, Tony Okoroji was actually a producer, not a singer. No, he, well, he he is a singer. You know, he, I mean, he was singing and producing as well. At the time. Okay. But I think he started off producing. Okay, okay, okay. Move around to Yoruko. I want the young guys at that time, young school guys. He want sign was he and my lord Odion Roje. Popular me, Maburu Kwan is a popular in Lagos College. Come to work with in the course of the uh, chat. Maranti, Maranti, uh, Maranti. I want you possible to have a Maranti at the type of me. I would just uh, say popular, popular group. Now, so 
Silly Papa Me Joy was an album. I'll be yeah. a single. It was an uh, well, Silly Papa Me Joy was an album, but uh, the adaptation of uh, Michael Jackson's uh, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough okay. was released as a single. Okay. In, and then here, and then in Nigeria later on. Okay. So, and um, so, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, Silly Papa Me Joe. Show registering as an artist. Yes, Silva Bamijo was my first uh, 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 success, so to say. Um, that was that was my first effort that brought me into limelight. Bye. Okay. It was the it was the uh, it was the adaptation of Michael Jackson's song that I did, mm. and track Silva Bamijo itself. Yeah, okay. and. On that very uh, on that very song, um, uh, Michael Jackson said, "Don't stop till you get enough." That I did. Um, we had uh, an artist from from the U.S., Linda Roosted, um, did her own version of the of this of the of the very song. Okay. Yeah. So, after Silly Faba Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, during during the period you only had one hot lower, I want you to let meet at that T T T uh single to be in party. You know the big artists. So at the time, um it was the era of uh DCK uh, uh DCK Falola, uh Felix Liberty, okay, even Chris Okote, you know, because we we're all on the same label, right? Okay. So um, a whole lot of them like that. Um, Oye Ka Oweno, you know, you know, yeah. you know, I was fortunate to be a part of uh, uh, what okay. was uh, yeah. So, how many years there, Lokalu EMI? The only album I did on EMI Records was Split Fapa Mijo because after that, um. A lot of things were not going right at the time uh, because okay. I was new in the business, and a lot of my expectations and agreement we had um, it did not uh, they did not go by, you know. So I had to switch gear on, at some point, uh, into other things. So and by the time I by the time I decided what I was going to do musically after the album, um, a lot of opportunities uh, to produce other artists and to write songs for other artists uh, were now coming in. And so I jumped into that opportunity um, to start producing. Kilo, Kilo Tech class is switch from being a singer hmm? to being a producer. You know, it didn't, it didn't really take much uh, for me personally because uh, it's it's something that I've already had. Uh, it, it's been my passion to work on other uh, artists' uh, projects and to oh. be able, to, you know, to use that channel to to show my versatility. Anyway, you know what I mean. So um, I I love the opportunity. Like I said, I just kind of jumped into it and um, you know started with uh, Pasuma. You know, other people are um, I think that Yeah, when yeah, yeah, when yeah. So that that would be that would be nineteen ninety two, actually. That would be so. 19- so that means you didn't become a producer until nineteen ninety two. It was nineteen ninety two. Yes, that was nineteen ninety two. That was my first. Uh, that was my first uh, uh, production. Um, that I did with another artist. It started with uh, Pasuma. And, now, um, it, was, yeah, yeah, when they call Pasuma. It was that year. It was 19, 1992 that I, that I, that I met And that, him, 19, so. that 1992 was Pasuma's first... You did Pasuma's oh, first ever album. Actually, that was the second album. He had one uh, before that. Um, but Computer, which was the one that I produced and wrote songs... Um, Actually, just boosted him even more. But the, yeah. for the previous one, Jadi, 
O jade o ti Ah, the title. I can't remember off right off head right now, but I know with the second one that I did uh with him uh was a computer. Um if you can get uh a computer, eh? I've been looking at the way she marked for you. Any Americans are a computer, but I did a computer. I want to go more with computer, you know, we get to law. So, I don't think I'm good. I'm just Joe. So, computer, they share in my kidney. Your your involvement as a producer all require a right to receive. No, did you do a major songwriting in that album? I did, uh. I did major uh, composition um, as well as uh, vocals as well on computer, and uh, I think I had a duet with him on it too. Uh, if music is the food of love, Abby. Yep, yep, you got uh, it right. Uh, uh. Oh, new. So, so yeah. and so, that album was your first ever production. Yes, that was my first. That was my first. Well. Uh, Surprisingly, I, I I feel inside me that being a pop artist, maybe uh, doing Fuji, not even barista Fuji, Pasuma Fuji, Pasuma Fuji, Lengbo, she be on the computer ever. Yeah, in computer and all over. Pasuma Fuji, Logo, De, and our senior boys, Wonjo, Kinika Wonjo. Now, doing Fuji. Mm -hmm. you no know, switching from pop to Fuji. What about any came out Jackson call pop more? Kwa Makapala. Ben, Ben. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, 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 um, again, so, we, most of the, the, uh, the fact that I was able to do that when I was in school, you know, Google, I listened to everything and anything. Mm. So, I want to continue to listen to back then. Uh, who influenced me, like you say, other things come on, say, Pelu, okay, you Pelu, you know, Apala and Kong Kong. You know, to be honest with you, I but I just found myself doing it. I didn't even know, <laughs> I didn't even know how it came about, but it was just part of who I was, you know, okay, so, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, after Pasuma, it became computer became a hit. Yeah. yeah. Now I am on your Moalori um, Wikipedia page, Okay. So I want to do a sort of run down, run through okay. of your discography. Okay. After computer in 1992, mm -hmm. the next artist you worked for was still Pasuma in 1993. Does that mean that no other artist came to you for production job? Throughout 1992, till Pasuma came back. I so 1990. So between that time, between that between 19, 19, 1992 and 1993, I was doing other things musically. Um, but yeah, I was not. Um, I I didn't do any other. I didn't work on any other projects. Personal stuff, okay. Fuji music or whatever, uh, but I was doing other things uh, musically, you know, yeah, between between 1992 and 93, you know. So um, a lot of radio uh, singles, you know, um, a lot of uh, um, film film movie songs, you know, uh, okay, stuff like that. So I want movie, like I want movies, so I want Yoruba movies, I be. Uh, yeah, Yoruba movie. Um, uh, the one that I clearly remember was Boreko. Uh, Boreko was 1996. Now we are at the 1996, and because I was actually coming yeah. to Boreko, it was uh, it was recently that I knew that you sang in Boreko, <laughs> and Boreko has been my all-time favorite Yoruba movie. Wow. Boreko, Otun Lady be funny. Oreti O D B Obama Yasi Kikuma Pa Olo Remi. Karu mache olore mi. So you know it's on the fact we are last week. Mola to bore kwa wo. Lati make sure kwe kinshe kwe mo kon so mung mung feel kwe enyeleko. 
last time we broke a baller been baller lo the credits music uh bo repo but though we are still coming back to that so before 1996 you did a lot of uh, movie soundtracks yeah was yeah. it rewarding show the creative show more movies again it's not it's not what it is right now but there was some there was something to it but wish that uh, uh, it was done the way it's been done right now okay but we you know we did a lot of things back in the days for the love of it for the love of music not for not for the money not for the money um but yeah so again uh, coming back to the reason why you had to make tough decision of whether yeah. to, or, or whether to stay or whether to to leave to leave yeah yeah also something else, yeah. So, so who recommended Talo recommend this from uh Shino Akoni? Um my recommendation uh uh to Shino Akoni was actually from the what the stuff that I did with Pasuma. Okay. Uh, so because uh you know at the time uh, you know uh Pasuma's uh, record label and 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 Shino Akoni's uh uh record label or sponsor as they call them they call them back in, back in days were very close so they were both in motion um lagos i can't remember this guy's name that the one that was doing uh, uh, Shino Akone. uh Shino Akone. but they were they were in that same environment in motion so, so uh, you know, uh, all of the stuff that they've heard me worked uh, on, Guru uh, Pasuma, Olojaki, won't reach out. Okay. Chino Akone's work, yeah. Chemo Shina, you want to be somewhere else, somewhere in? I know, I was uh, I was in Lawansin. I was I was in Lawansin, not too far away from them. From oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. She had a studio in Yabi, and she managed studio at the time. At yes. that time, yes. Nick Bay Abbey, Nick Bay Abbey, Nick Bay Abbey, Nick Bay Abbey, um, the whole time, yeah, and we, we worked at different places, you know. Okay, and, yeah. okay, all right. Now, in 1993, according to what I have there from Wiki, a shepherd who said, Oh, super. That was Master Blaster, but I think Master Blaster was not Saido Shupa's first album. No, it wasn't. I think it was uh, Fuji. It wasn't. Fuji Fadisco or something. I don't know. Me, me sure. He had, he had uh, I think he had one or two before Master Blaster, before I came in. And okay. I did the same thing that I did uh, with Pasuma on Master Imigon Moso, Abom Yeni, Master Blaster. Master was, Blaster. Because I wrote, uh, you know, a lot of uh, songs on that album as well. And uh, vocals and, and all that. So, yeah. Now, Eja Kisari digress. At that time, it was, uh, I, I think, musicians took music more seriously. Okay. Because it was more, more rewarding. Then there were record labels and there were marketers that were ready to push those jobs. Unlike now, when it's the artist that will be looking, that is the artist that will be selling. He will do the composition. He will even be the producer. He will mass dub. He will be selling the artist. So you know, the music, the business is no longer as lucrative as it was. But having said that, that time was uh, was a special time back on back on because the competition was so high. Mm -hmm. It was around the time when Shino Peters just broke out yeah. with his Shinomania. See, uh, music, you no know, music became fast tempo, and everybody was just pissing up their music. Whether it makes sense or it doesn't make sense, they were just doing, putting tempo and adding, adding it. Even Fuji musicians, I wanna work with. Let's try to do something. So I, I, I know that that period was uh, a significant period in the history of music, of modern music in Nigeria, and that period actually produced you because that period you did some uh, significant albums that we can still refer to today now what is my point master blaster you did in 1993 
and the computer you did in 1992. And up till now, these two artists are still very relevant in Fuji music. Yes. And yeah. you had very significant impute in their music. Were well, you supposed to be a Fuji artist yourself? <laughs> That's hmm. a good... Bobo, you wasn't most of it more parties in here. Um, you know, I don't think I ever wanted to be a Fuji artist. To be honest, to be honest with you, um, because I mean, I wanted an avenue to, you know, to get my versatility out, which they all gave me. Okay, mm. but I. Never intended to be a Fuji artist uh, myself uh, in no way, shape, or form. Um, I did want to put idioms together and bring it to uh, one uh, um, to one area of music or one one new music, uh, you know, which was my um, way of saying my music is Fuji pop, Fuji mm. pop music. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, Fuji pop music. Pop music, yeah, exactly. So, but I didn't want to be a Fuji artist. I didn't want to be known as Juju music artist or just pop artist. You understand what I'm saying? So, mm. I, if there was just this urge in me to put it all together, and make it one big thing, you know. Um, and today, um, I, I kind of see that element in a lot of things that's been done in Nigeria. Okay. okay. You know, um, and, and I'm happy, and I'm happy that it's happening that way. Okay. Know? So. Okay. So in 1994, you returned to make the man for Alaji yeah. Wasio Alabi Pasuma. Mm -hmm. I won't dwell on that. I will move on to 1995 when you did uh, Fuji's Kopido okay. for for Sashina Koni. Okay. okay. Now, if I let me move to Stainless in 1995, Stainless, Stainless, uh, all the songs mm -hmm. between 1992 and 1995. music. No, I didn't because at that point, once I started with with uh, Wasu Alabi, I was full motion into doing, uh, working uh, on different artists, especially okay. in the uh, Fuji music area, um, because I saw a lot of opportunity to uh, to bring uh, you know my flavor into what they were doing. And so, so it's not that Juju, Juju artists didn't believe in you at that time. No, no, no. It was just me that really focused on, you know, uh, using, using the elements to bring out the flavor that I had and uh, my, my, my uh, you know, my ideas, you know. Um, so so they, they gave me that channel to be able to, you know, so mm. uh, all that, you know. All right. Uh, Nigeria, you are the role. Kausati, <laughs> boyo, rubawa. And you told me just now that you didn't plan to become a Fuji artist, but you no. deliberately she she Fuji a Fuji Fuji line, you know, the way forward too. Yeah. Well, again, you know, you have a point. I I, I can argue with your point. You understand? Um, mm. A lot of people, even at the time, a lot of people were uh, kind of uh, imploring me to. To fully become a Fuji artist. A Fuji artist. Can I join Fuma? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my thing, you know. It wasn't my thing. Um, I, you know, honestly, if I, if I, if I wanted to, in, um, if I wanted to pick any genre, musically at the time, at mm. the time I was fully going for pop. Music. Okay. To be honest with you, so I okay. was pop music, but um, down the road I realized that you know, trying to go for pop music, uh, you still you're still a Nigerian. You know what I mean? Mm. What about 
what about <laughs> what about yeah. exploring all of, you mm. know the uh, flavors that you have even in Yoruba land alone let alone all the other states you can't even finish you know yeah. exploring those those uh, uh, those uh, journeys that you have there you know um, so then I kind of relaxed a, a, a little bit uh, with my inspiration of uh, becoming a pop artist and that only pushed me more toward um, you know, toward uh, working with a lot of uh, Fuji artists and using okay. that as a channel to bring out, um, you know, my pop idea, my 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 juju music idea, idea you know, sort of a combination uh, of all of those things, those things, pouring it into what they what they had going on at the time. Now, for three good years, you did uh, Fuji music. How did you meet King Sonny Ade? So. Um, Meeting uh, King Sonia the uh, uh, was uh, was kind of a, was was a blessing, a big blessing actually. Um, as I've said, during those years, um, I had some other stuff going on, you know, in the studios, you know, um, jingles and working on other, uh, uh, working with uh, other artists, uh, you know, uh, other projects, and you know. Um, I met uh, at the time. I met uh, your Mio Midiron, who was one of my good friends. Uh, okay. And Yomi and I um, had a lot of uh, uh, projects. Uh, we were uh, and I think your Mio Midiron got to work with King Sonia Ade first. Um, okay. Yomi Omidiro now introduced me to uh, King Sonia Day on one of uh, his projects that Yomi was working on. Yeah, when you are projects, right? So that would be his, uh, 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 his um, uh, album that he did for his birthday. Happy, uh, happy celebration. Yes. Happy celebration. Happy yes. celebration to the king of world. That was your voice. Yeah, so that, so that, so that was where I did Aladdin do well. Yeah. So, um, so that was the first project that uh, uh, that enabled me to meet uh, King Sonny Hadi. And you're a producer, Abi. Abi, you're a meeting room. You know, a lot producer. Um, I did write a few things, you know. But the the chorus, and gosh, I calling the chorus, eh? Yes, I did. All right, all right. Now, Timi uh, or Baba Timi or Shukoya. Yes. I want you to produce the way forward. She more writes. Yes, in conjunction with uh, uh, Yomi, Omidiro, and uh, Fiona. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. what What about the song, the songwriting? I want you to answer. The songwriting was done uh, by various artists. Okay. Uh, Arts, you know. Um, other people, you know, wrote their, part, their parts in it too. As you, as you know, that album was filled with, uh, you know, a whole lot of uh, different uh, folks. <laughs> you know, mm. I, majority of the songs uh, of the parts in the songs were written by individual artists. Okay. What about the chorus? Talo right chorus here. Eh? Uh, Nigeria, uh, Iti, Bobo, uh, uh, Mr. Timio Shukoya wrote the, did write the... Um, what about the other one? Eja for also work for Kafi Mosho. You know the you know the second part. Second part. Um, I believe that was him and King Sonia did. Okay. Yeah, and again, all other parts in that uh, um, on that album um, were written by different artists. Should I play any instrument? You know the way forward. No, I all I did was uh, songwriting and vocals. Okay, I don't know if you can share your experience with uh, some of the artists, um, the, mu the musicians that you participated with during the production of the Way Forward. So maybe so, the, the the trance, the 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 early. I want to want keep to maintain the day. I want to want yari. I want to stop born. I know we have different uh, attitudes. <laughs> but you know, they did a very good job um 
organizing how everybody, you know, play their parts on that project. Mm. Uh, they worked uh, really hard uh, to bring everybody together, uh, um, as many as they could bring. Oh. They, you know, they brought. Okay. Um, yeah. We, you know, the album was recorded um, in Suru Lere, um at Clink Studios. In Suru Lere. And Clink Studio at okay. the time was, okay. was really uh, not anything big. You understand? So yeah. it could accommodate few at the time. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Timi Ushukoya, Tony Ade, and a uh, few other people um, did what they could do to make sure that everybody was there at the time appointed to okay. you know, individual artists. So that was really good. And we all uh, had fun. It was kind of a, uh, you know, a serious uh, celebration. Each time we went there, we were there uh, to work together, we celebrated. It was really good. Uh, but see, but see, uh, Orlando, so we'll draw vocals one. Share one studio by a badge or wow, show me. No, I was, I wasn't I wasn't there when he did his vocal. I was in Ibadan. Okay. It is vocal, yeah. Now, during the video shoots, mm -hmm. were you were you at this stage? You told you on stage, were you there? I wasn't. At that one, I, I I participated in the uh, studio. In the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, um, 1997, I have here that you produced "Lift Me Up" by Kingsley Ogunde. Yes, I uh, I work with uh, Kingsley Ogunde. Uh, Kingsley Ogunde is uh, he has this the the tone voice which is in the class of your own voice. <laughs> she she will correct. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, and we are good friends. We are really good friends. And I would like to speak, I would like to chat with him just like this anytime soon. Oh, don't so, worry. You mm, got it. Yeah. Uh, that hook up. Don't worry. But yeah, he's it? very brilliant. Uh, you know, gifted uh, um, vocalist. Um, okay. So you know, um, we've uh, we we're, we're just. Uh, we lift each other up. We encourage each other. You know, we 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 <coughs> we have the same faith. You know, obviously, okay. uh, he's been a big brother and a good friend to me. So yeah. All right. Um, I would like to re uh, acknowledge some of the messages I have right here because me tell how you can send messages. So I will just quickly look at um, those messages here. Olu Shola Yomole says, "Well done. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, sir." Lekwa Dewale, talented producer, our greetings, wanting to look man I can be. As I was about to talk about look man I can be, he said Samalti being a wild boss. He told me a lot of things about you, how you how he was around. We see where contribution was in our albums about tell anybody about in sorrow and albums. You say no 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 no. It was bola bin bola lo shele lo shele lo shele. I want to say a man jaff when you don't give someone else someone else bola bin bola's credit. Mm. So I'm sure you know him so very well. Definitely, definitely. Lukman is uh, it's my dear brother. Mm. My dear. Um, we worked together on uh, several of these uh, projects, and um, um, Lukman is he was somebody that actually didn't even <coughs> need rehearsal, or you could call Lukman. But Lukman, because Monirio. Open book straight me. Oh, the man shall see me. Oh, and you won't be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so, what I want to do, I want to say, I want to do choices. Can most... you call? I mean, most of them. Yeah. My joke, you know, my mom, Shaja, Shaja, my mom, 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 Shaja, here on those albums, yes, yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Olua Shegun Yusuf, good afternoon, sir. Toy Adebanjo, good job. Yes, one in Lekon Adewali. I look at the Wali Nipasuna's first is uh, recognition. So recognition came before before a computer. Oh computer, yes. Yes. Yes, okay. Then um, choices. Which one is choices? Okay. Jolao 
Samod is the name of the uh, Shino Akoni labor yeah. owner. Samod right. Jola Show. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Then the one Fuji for Disco, the first album. Uh, Said Oshupa. Great. All right. Yes, I, I, I'm still, I'm still going to take more, more. More, more messages. Lookman, I can be one. Nope, I am Lookman MC. I be MC Lookman. Oh, okay. So that's not Lookman. I can be. No, it's the same person. I want to know. Lookman, I can be. I want to know. Call message me, but me understand. Got also. Oh, okay. One Lookman MC, not the drama. Oh. One not the drama. So MC Lookman. Maybe one call message that if you for any you no know, got on try as so. Yeah, my it's fuck yes. When he kudos to a bumbola bimbola, nice to see his face again. If I can she dread, one will pay. Kilo do swing they be dread by so much he expects dread here. But one will see one low cuts. One okay. Okay. Production only. But in dark but see your man born. Again, my boys in only. but uh you know my dread uh was when I was uh uh, when I was in the world, so to say, uh, doing the world uh, uh, duties, but uh, at some point, um, I had a calling on my life, and so things started changing at that point. You know, so I had to start rethinking, so to say. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, dread didn't have to come down <laughs> at that point. So. Uh, think about in the family man, you, you know, you start thinking about, uh, you know, how do you want to raise your children? What do you want to leave them with? And how do you, what route do you want them to follow? And it's not enough to just uh, tell them, don't do this, don't do that. No, you got to live by example. Hello. Okay. Wait, Enjoy. Wait, wait. Oh, I think it's my network or something. Okay. No oh. All right. So, so anyway, yes. I, so, so I was just, that was why I had to okay. think. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I just can, I just can move on. I just can move on. Um, I, I share Kingsley Ogunde. You yeah. did uh, Tsukasa 1997 yeah. for Alaji Colinton. So you moved back again to Fuji Music. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so again, what was your experience with Alaji Collington Ayala? It, it was it was great. It was great. Um when when I worked on that album, um the beginning when we started working on the album, it was kind of rough uh to kind of nail down where we wanted to go concept, you know. Um okay. he had his he had his things, you know, he had his uh his his, his songs and everything, you know. Um, but then we uh, we had to change a couple of things where and that's where I came came up with uh, you know different idea um, okay you know with regard to took us okay. uh, that 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 took us again was was my title actually so um but yeah it was uh, fun working with him as well it was fun working with him okay um I want to move exercise we have two Lukmans here. Lukman Akobi. Lukman Akobi says on Master Blood. Yeah. And we have Lukman Salau. So I don't know which Lukman, Lukman you actually so refer Lukman, to. Lukman Akobi um, was what part? If you if you could tell me what part he played on on Master Blast, that would enable me to. That would help me to. Uh, to get my memory back to that. Okay. In years and years and years and years. So. Terrible. Hello. I'm here. Hello. Network and she means she get a lay. Network and she means she get a lay. I mean, just I know that my party to specify what so uh, 1998, sir. Yeah, I am a cool. 
Ayo Miku. Hold on a second, sir. No problem. No problem. Charger and power bank. Okay. Yes, thanks. All right, sir. So in 1998, sir, you produced Buyanga. Yeah. Yeah. So Buyanga uh, was released. Uh, yeah, like la mentioned, la mention, let come. Yeah. You know, let it call. Only they come here. Why friends in bed? Friends in bed. Moko Kafiniye. Uh, which one you were talking about when we first talked? Uh, Moko Shirbiri Laye, um, Moko Askarito Moje, uh, which I did with Daddy Shoki as well. There, yeah. so yeah, I, I, you know, I got a series of songs on that album as well. So mm. that album, um, that really brought me, uh, into being an artist again. But that was also the year that I decided to make that change um, as far as you know, living in Nigeria uh, for the US. So Buyanga, okay. was, Buyanga, Buyanga was released shortly after I uh, got, got to, to, uh, to the US, um, <clears throat> which, uh, which uh, you know, later became a very, very big uh, hit gave me two awards uh, uh, in Nigeria, fame, two fame awards. All right, um, so please p give me just one minute. Emma Koto, Moko Fair, Rico, Moko Fair, one question, sorry, network here. On for me, issue seriously. And I want this interview, this chat to go to to be fine. No problem. All right, so I joined them, why about Bino? I just want me to make sure that I get this uh, this shot right. So we, this this is what we always face: network issues and all that. So uh, let me resubscribe now. Like we need to turn it. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Oh, Hello, sir. Are you there? Okay. What like What is what is switch? Okay. Okay. Something about younger. Yes. Okay. 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 Yes. Money, we were talking about Buyanga. So I want us to go back to the, the details there for me. Get the whole thing now.
Will it record there? Eh? In Nigeria, at Clink Studio. Okay. Yeah, that's where we recorded. And uh, Buyanga was produced uh, by uh, myself and Yomi Omidiro. Okay. Um, um, well, Yomi produced and co produced the album. Okay. And uh, I wrote all the songs. Um, okay. Anyway. Um, okay. And yeah, it ultimately uh, became a you know big hit. Praise God for that, and uh, gave me a uh, best artist of the year and best video of the year. Best best video. Best video and best artist. Did you shoot? Did you shoot all the videos to the song? I shot. I think we shot uh, about four songs. Uh, for uh, 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 videos for four of the songs on the album, yeah. So, yeah. So that that was uh, that, that was that was good. <laughs> that was mm -hmm. good. Um, you know, I um, I would have returned to Nigeria at the time um, because of that album, but okay. uh, it wasn't easy to. To do that uh, due to the situation that I, you know, that I had to deal with here in the U.S., okay. which was kind of unfortunate, but it is what is, uh, you know. Um, yeah. All right, um, me, I, I mean, you know, me, more young, we are ninety-eight, don't you? Yeah. You went on a world tour with King Sonny Ajay. Yeah. Was it was it was it arranged for you to jackpot? So, bef so before we left, um, when King Sonny Ade, um, when King Sonny Ade invited me um, to join to join him on that tour, um, right before right before he left, we we had already started talking about. He asked me to to come with him so I could actually move to the US. And so that means it's more, more right. It was arranged for you to it jump back. It was already arranged. Um, that okay. It was already uh, our conversation. Um, he, you know, he just thought <laughs> to him, I shouldn't be in Nigeria. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't be in Nigeria, you know. So. But anyway, um, so I owe him a lot of uh, thanks. Um, uh, I'm so so grateful. He's, you know, King Sonade is my my godfather in music, and I will always be to. to somebody him. somebody told me that King Sonade actually adopted you as his son. That's true. That's true. That, that's that's true. correct. That's correct. Um, so uh, he's just uh, he's a beloved. Uh, you know, and contributed a lot to my career. And I'm, I'm just so, I will be forever grateful and thankful to him. I don't know who's watching now that wants to adopt me to as a son, that will arrange my jackpot <laughs> to. <laughs> I will, I will adopt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I, I hey, Sean. Yeah, hey, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you, you produced seven degrees. Seven degrees. And uh, it's seven degrees north mm -hmm. is uh, it's on it's on an international level, Cosini mm -hmm. level. Look at the fact. Seven degrees north is not it's not juju music. Seven degrees north, as far as I'm concerned, is jazz, mm -hmm. Afro jazz. The entire uh, uh, album. So um, you know, it, it, there's uh, uh, again. The way, the way music uh, credits and production credits um, were handled uh, in those days were quite yeah. different. From what it, what, what, you know, what it is right now. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, back, back in the day, as you know, um, um, there were a lot of things that 
I did that I was not even credited for. Wow. <laughs> you know, a lot of things. But and 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 I think it was kind of like people didn't, you know, artists didn't want people to know they didn't write songs or they didn't, you know what I mean? They just get yeah. Yeah. It, it was, which I thought was kind of uh, uh, um, petty. Yeah, you know, it, you know, it should be a you know, collaborate uh, to have people collaborating with you to work on on your project and stuff like. That. I had the, you know, pleasure of working with so 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 and so. You know what I mean? That's yeah. But of course, you know, that was not there. Uh, way of uh, that wasn't their per perception, uh, oh. uh, you know what I mean. But um, I'm just gonna say on seven degrees. Yes, I I, I did. I worked on it. Uh, I wrote songs, you know. Um, but again, um, I leave the credit thing to people out there too. <laughs> to <laughs> okay, okay. Um... Okay, so seven degrees, and then trick, trick deck. Who is who? Tiny trick deck. So, uh, trick deck uh, was uh, was partner of uh, my uh, my record label, my first record label in the U.S. Here, um, he his label uh, his label partner. Partnered with my uh, record label uh, that I signed on to here, Sean Records, mm -hmm. um, and so I I recorded um, Arakenge um, for that uh, for that uh, record label, and so um, he worked with my record label here in the U.S. to do the marketing on that on that on that, on that record. That's how okay. it came in. Yes. So you did um, Crisis and Ira Kinge as part of your own personal albums. Yeah. So Crisis was released uh, on Kenny's music. Okay. Uh, Nigeria. Uh, that was when I went back to Nigeria in two thousand and one. I released uh, um, on Kenny's music, and that was a project with them. Um, Arakenge was released here, as, as I said, on Fast House Records, Records label. And uh, Arakenge was actually uh, um, nominated for Grammy um, here in the world uh, music uh, category uh, in that year uh, when I released it in the US. That was in 2006, actually. Okay. World music series. Uh, Sikri Adekwaju was uh, known with Obiavi. Yes, yes, you're right. You're right about that. He was the lead talking drummer for Commander. Commander, yeah. Uh, before you. you uh, so the Ijile Ilue was uh, and was a, it was a, a drum drums ensemble. Avi, Avi, can you jazz in it? No, Ijinleilu was kind of like African, uh, you know, kind of drum, 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 you know, uh, ensemble. Uh, okay. Um, and on that project, um, he had uh, other drummers from, you know, different uh, parts of the world to collaborate with. Uh, okay. Yeah, so um, when I did... Uh, uh, I did vocals, uh, two I think two on two songs there, uh, on that project. Okay, okay. All right. Um, filmography. Both of one in Kolo and B, and if I'm not correct, both of one in 1997 movie. Maybe I was wrong, but I used to think it was 1996, but it's either 96 or 97. No? Yeah, I think it was 1997. Okay. So how much are you? How much are you paid for that beautiful song? Oh, okay. Okay. 
I was uh, I was I was paid enough to be able to buy a uh, bubu at a bar at least. Yeah, this year. A bad job taking so that they finish we. Every Monday, you ever been by here? Just Nigeria. The bar show in Nigeria. Share a quick. It's never frustrated. Ah, to be honest, to be honest with you, um, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, I would think that I would think that if things if things are progressing the right now for Nigerian artists, um, I probably may have. Uh, been chanced to, you know, to develop uh, my my career to a point where uh, the respect that I deserve, uh, mm. and otherwise, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, because uh, you know, it's still there. Mm. It's still, um, and I'm, you know, I'm still pretty much. Wanting to, wanting to showcase my, my variety. Do, do you still have that voice, that very, very, very tone voice? Share in the voice, eh? I be here, but in this voice, you know. Well, uh, you know, uh, that's not for me to determine. According, <laughs> <laughs> let me do. Let me be the determinant. And you're calling me as a friend. Oh, still still DJ. Now, let's look at the, 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 the bodies of work that you've been able to put together that you put together for people and like, even for yourself. Yeah. If you are to charge royalties, if you are to take royalties like monthly or yearly, you should be a millionaire by now. And instead of it to get improved, it's getting worse. Mm. With your exposure, mm. what do you think is the future for producers, are we going to keep having our, our producers, our music brains, leave the shores of this country in search of golden fleas and uh, uh, green, green, uh, the other side is greener, the greener pastures? Mm -hmm. Is that how? Is that the way we we, are, we should keep doing, or there should there, there should be something, or a, like a regulation or a law or a bill to be passed to a house whereby? Works that are done by producers. No, people should live on whatever they have done. Doing but don't she need to do so that yeah. you know, for day, they should keep earning. Not that way about the at the I've spoken to lots of producers, so I've spoken to Femi or mm -hmm. I've spoken to Julie King. You know him? Yeah. Yeah. I've spoken to Julie King, and I can tell you that I'll and you are a little better off. Sharing producers to one lay, they are not finding it easy. They're not finding it easy, and it should not be that way. I'm really sorry to to hear that because it shouldn't be the case. Um, you know, the Obabo one in the Obaso, because she, just like you mentioned, um, there has to be regulation. There has to be rules. There has to be laws, you know, that, you know, checks everybody, that puts a check on everybody and what people are doing, what entities are doing here and there. Yes, you know, your effort should not go unrewarded, okay? Um, creativity, creativity should not go unrewarded, but unless... Those only amok war, only war. Only okay. okay and, mm. You know the rule and the laws have to be set. They, they, they've got to be changed from the top. Otherwise, nothing changes down here. 
And until they do that, uh, which I, I, I honestly, if I want to be honest with you, I'm not hopeful mm. to do that anytime soon. But all I all we can do is to continue to pray that you know only God can change the heart of a person or the heart you know of government. So just need to continue to pray that God will step in and, and do what we done in their heart. So they begin to recognize uh, of you know uh, creativity. artists. Mm. Yeah. Now, so, as if, if 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 I were a producer, yeah, a Indian artist, I work contract with making she chef for me. The much charge you pay for she has she for you. You're going to pay me two fifty k for production charges, cost, and everything. Studio, two fifty k, three hundred k. Yeah. So she had a bad day too. To the people to pay me off. Do I still have a right to get royalties from of that course. from that work? That's that's the, that's, that's the that's the first how, leg. Yeah. That's the that's, first leg of my question. The second yeah. leg of it, Nikwe, if I compose for you and you mm -hmm. pay me for that composition, mm -hmm. it's all for me. Can I say it anywhere that I compose for you, or because I've sold that shame of way, listen by it, they're about a motto for me. Motto is it for me? I can't pay a ta for me, where there's a motto mini, yeah, because it's a ta. Show what show she show the back with the music, can so quay, it's a ta or in for me, motor around him with it, so for you, it was a quay, even more low, only to a cost of bear. Say, show work. I just want to be clear. It's still applicable. It's still applicable. You know, for the fact where or our in law me doesn't make it your song, it's okay. still my. Okay. Oh yeah, I can still use that song at any time. Okay, Moko, but right, Latin only. only, but they don't understand that in Nigeria. Okay. A mini motion ni only me. He just imbati only sita senumi. Latin only imbati. Si only emba le to ba fi le wo inu microphone. What you are copyrighted? Okay. What you are copyrighted? You understand what I'm saying? So the mm -hmm. fact that mo, mo, you know most song wo fun that calling for me doesn't mean we eh, don't have any right on that song. Okay. No, no, that's not the way it works. That's not the way. So. Um, what was your first uh, your first leg again? Hello, hello. More, more, more appreciate you pay a familiar or your fair. That's about in sorrow. Likewise, likewise. Uh, I want you to appreciate the 14. I want to appreciate the 14. So grateful. I'm so grateful. What do you call the one you go? I'm not going to go to Nigeria. 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 So I want you to send me a message. Enjoy one more. Then you know radio. I want you to enjoy one more radio. Be contented. We don't want to be bored. We play our our tracks in the Buyanga. So much. Thank you. God bless you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Um. Thank you so much for your time, sir.